Thank you very much for the invitation to address this meeting on plastic bags that you have kindly organized. Between 500 billion and 1 trillion plastic bags are produced each year and are put into our planet and only 1% of these are in fact recycled. These are some of the basic facts that have led UNEP over the last 10 to 15 years to increasingly focus on the question of can we do something more intelligent in our economies, in our societies, as consumers, as industry, as retailers, to try and address an issue that has clearly become a major pollution problem, an issue of resource consumption and also an issue of resource efficiency. Today we have a number of initiatives already in many countries across the world to try and control the use of particularly single-use plastic bags. Our work as the United Nations Environment Programme to bring together the evidence, for instance, also on marine litter and pollution, has led us time and again to realise that the problem of plastic bags is not simply one of aesthetic or visual pollution. It is in fact one that has become a systemic problem in our oceans through the food chain also beginning to come back to affect human health. Clearly action is needed. Whether that action is in terms of banning the use of single-use plastic bags or thin film plastic bags, such as that one in China, that in 2008 resulted in over 65 billion plastic bags no longer being used and sold, and over 6 million tons of oil in terms of an equivalent assessment being saved, or whether it is in terms of public awareness, it is in terms of corporate social responsibility, and particularly, and here I turn to industry and also those who are in the research and development area of technology, to try and find better alternatives. We need to accept that with seven, soon 10 billion people on this planet, using materials that maybe 100 years ago did not have a cumulative impact have become a problem. We need both the confidence of the consumers, the confidence of industry and business, and also the intervention and the engagement of regulators, governments, parliaments, to try and address this issue from a perspective of its total impact on our planet. We in the United Nations Environment Programme believe in a broad range of actions that can be taken. However, what is not in dispute is that we need to act. Clearly, if instruments such as public awareness, incentives and also voluntary actions do not add up to addressing this problem in a quantitatively meaningful way, then indeed we must look at trying to bring, for instance, the externalities that these plastic bags, thin film products cause on our planet into a more regulatory framework? Can we incentivize retailers, industry to come up with better alternatives? Can we try and make consumers more aware of both the necessity to act in a more conscious way and to try and take the principles of reduce, reuse and recycle into their consciousness? Right here in Kenya we have had a wonderful example of a small-scale entrepreneur beginning to collect plastic bags and turning them into fence poles. It is one way of dealing with a pollution and waste problem but ultimately what we want to achieve is that people, economies, businesses actually reduce the problem in the first place. I hope that through your conference and the awareness work and also the initiatives that you are taking in Europe and that also build on the experiences of many other countries, not least our neighbouring country Rwanda, which a number of years ago phased out the use of plastic bags, we can in fact make a difference. It neither affects the well-being of our economies, it actually improves the well-being of human beings and the ecosystem and with the cooperation and partnership of industry and business, we can make this problem go away. Thank you for your support and engagement and please count on us in the United Nations Environment Programme to continue to bring both the science and the global overview and the empirical evidence of why this is an issue on which we need to act together. Thank you.